Hey, hey, thanks for checking out this video. This is where my life has been the entire year of 2020, living out of a horse trailer because not really leaving the country so easy, but this trailer was converted by my brother and I've been living in it all of 2020. I just want to give you guys kind of a peek at what it looks like to convert a small trailer into a house. So this is a pretty small trailer. This is a two horse trailer here. So you can kind of get a look at it here, how big it is. It's only like 10, 12 feet long, so it's not too much to work with. But, you know, if you just think about how big you really need, this is all that you really need. So it's got a dual axle on it. It's got a lot of under storage here. This is kind of the area where uh, we keep a little extra something. You know, got some cooler food supplies in here. This is like the more shady area where... Uh, we can keep stuff from the blazing heat because some parts of like Utah and Arizona were way too hot and this is the place that stays the coolest. So got a bicycle in there, got some panniers filled up with junk, got uh, tools, repair kits, got a table and chair to pop out and just uh, set up a little campsite and do some cooking. So the, the whole cooking rig is set up inside of a car. I uh, just got the Coleman stove in there and all the canned goods and all the fresh foods and stuff like that. So I'm just going to give you guys kind of a look at the whole horse trailer spectrum in general. So the way this is set up is you normally would enter from the back if you were a horse, but that's not really that convenient. So this is what the back looks like. It's pretty much locked up and sealed and insulated so that no dust is going to fly in and no issues with just debris mostly. That's kind of why it's sealed up. So you can kind of see... Not much going on there. You know, ideally you'd open that up and be able to use it as a front porch, but currently the front door is right here. So this is pretty much where the entryway is. And you can see here that there's super thick insulation foam on all the walls inside this baby. So, you know, even when it's real hot, it does help. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. So I'm going to give you guys kind of a look inside. It's kind of a small space, so the angles might be a little off, but I'm just going to take you on and show you how it is. So here's a, here's the windows. They just slide open. There's a, they got bug screens on them, and uh, some insulation in the back there. So come in the main entryway, and you can see that uh, there's a couple uh, lawn chairs, kind of underneath this uh, bed frame. So this is a futon that's lifted up, and uh, designed to be kind of like a bunk bed, but just the top bunk. So uh, just got some carpet on the ground here, and I hope this video looks good. This space is so tight. So on the inside, it looks pretty small, but there's a full-size bed. You know, got six feet of length there. That whole back wall is insulated with, uh, you know, reflective insulation foam. Uh, plus, all the walls got this, you know, insulation foam on the sides as well. Got a pretty good R value. Got uh, some books, got a little hanging area for baskets, got some nice decor here. This whole wall is one solid piece of that uh, solid insulation here. And uh, got a little bookshelf, little caddy holding some stuff. Got a nice glass water jug, got carpeting on the ground here that can easily be picked up and shaken out. And uh, a little coat hanger here that gets used pretty regularly. So these doors all open up, but ideally we're not opening them up because once you open them up, you kind of break the seal. So right now there's foam going through, and this is something really important when you're converting one of these is you got to seal up. Like I can see that there's even a little bit of air right there that is still coming through, but you get road dust that comes in because these aren't really designed to be completely uh, enclosed. You know, they're just designed to move horses a little bit, so... Yeah, but underneath there's a couple chairs, you know, a couple of these chairs uh, just for hanging out and watching some movies. Got some organizing area here, some bins, and back in here got some storage for the socks and underwear and all that. You know, it's not the not the best, but it's been working and it's been uh, modified many times. Got a little pop-out table to put right in front of here and use for watching a little movie in the evening. Got a lot of extra blankets. So underneath you can kind of see uh, the frame of this. This is a actual futon that just got put up on blocks pretty much. And 
it's doing its best and this this shelf is actually kind of holding it up as well so it's got you know six legs but it's also got that shelf holding it up and it's all uh all you really need so up here got got a nice marmot sleeping bag got uh, some extra padding got a yoga mat there you know you go through a lot of different weather so you gotta keep it good and insulated and you can see the roof is fully insulated as well we got strips going all along here this is pretty hard to do on account of the entire thing is metal so screwing into it's not that easy you know nailing we tried gluing that doesn't work either uh, but thankfully there's these frames and we're able to use chunks of wood as kind of like a shim or a, I don't really know what you'd call it but it holds this plastic lining that suspends the insulation so the insulation is just laying on top of that plastic right there and the wood is holding that up in there so you can kind of see the plastic right here this is just some really thick plastic that uh was picked up I, it was just something that somebody was getting rid of but we got some reflective insulation under there got that plastic and then this holds it up so it took a while to get all this up in here but thankfully it is up in there and it really provided a lot of warmth and a lot of keeping the hot out too. So in the front of these, this is me standing in the back now. And uh, there's kind of these two open compartments in the front where horses would, I guess, be feeding or whatever. And uh, put a couple shelves up here. This is kind of where the shoes go because it's the main entryway. Got the shoe rack through here. This is kind of useless. But, you know, I kind of tidied this up. But normally this would just have a bunch of junk, like, uh, you know, it's just like the main area where you just throw your things. Got a couple extra books, got some extra blankets, and, uh, you know, got a camp towel up here. And uh, back on this side, got some stuff hung up on, on, this, on this curtain rod. So this has just like some random shirts and raincoats and whatever. And uh, down in here, there's a couple more shelves. This angle is kind of rough, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. Try to get up on here. So, looking down into this compartment, this is kind of where the organized or somewhat organized clothes are. So, it's just a box and one of these like uh, car organizing totes right here. Just roll up clothes and shorts and blankets and sweatshirts and just keep them down in there. Try to keep as tidy as possible. You know, it's not that easy living on the road. You got to stay as organized as you can but you know that's kind of a rough overall it's a simple enough design i think anybody could do this design mostly the problem is just you know it's just thin metal you can't screw into it very easy so getting the insulation on is a little bit tough and getting the whole thing sealed so the air doesn't come in and out for debris and for obviously heat distribution those are the main difficult things but Besides that, you know, got all the camp stuff that we need in here and got a comfortable place to sleep at the end of the day after some trails. And this is uh, pretty much where I've been the entire year since January. Started in Utah, went down through Arizona, went to Texas for three or four months, then came back up, went all the way around Texas, came back through Arizona, up through Colorado, up through Utah. Now, currently, in Idaho and back up to Washington in the next few weeks but there's that baby let me show you the full thing around it kind of looks the same you know you got some little light window right here that's nice to have and uh, just the two sliding windows are the only things that really open you know this window right here and the other one on the other side uh, plus you can open up all these doors so nice thing is it has lots of doors so there is options you know this door does open and we have bug nets on that one that one also opens up and has screens on it too so you know we, we kind of put some extra love into it but yeah that's uh that's the overview of the horse trailer camper conversion and hope this inspires some of you to get up and create a little uh camper type conversion for yourself because you know there's so much to see in this world and even if you're stuck in one place, you can still explore what's in your backyard, and it's kind of what's been going on. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out some more of my videos. They're all travel-related, uh, backpacking-related, 
gear, camping, hiking related. So if that's kind of your jam, check out some of my videos. And thanks so much for watching and have a good one. Keep on traveling.